and welcome back. It's 927. Throughout this pandemic, teachers across the world have had to adapt effect to effectively teach their students. Schools around the country and San Antonio have gone virtual and hybrid. So how does that work with science experiments? Well, in this morning's Teacher Spotlight segment, Max Massey introduced us to Kenny Huang, a chemistry teacher at St. Mary's Hall. That's going to cause the temperature to drop. And then what ends up happening is the pressure on the inside is less on the outside. And so what happens is the can ends up One, crushing. two, three. This is just one of Mr. Kenny Huang's experiments. This entire pandemic has been a test of how to shift, adapt, and thrive. And when it comes to chemistry, that means at-home experiments. See how we can change the lab so that it would end up, so that they could also do them at home. So we looked for materials that they would normally have, things they could get from the grocery store if they could get there. Um, and we changed the lab so that they're able to do it without normal laboratory equipment. But it's not always that easy. So Mr. Huang went above and beyond. So we would make little kits for them and they would come to school and pick them up so that they can work on them at home. Mr. Huang has answered the call during this pandemic. He has kept his students engaged, active and learning and now he's an award winner. The award that I got recently was from the um, Texas Biomedical uh, Research Forum um, and it gave me a grant so that I could do a project with my students next year. The big purpose of the project is just to make it so that we can see chemistry outside of the classroom and see how we can use it in a real world setting. We're looking at chemistry in a viewpoint that is applicable to um, the environment. So we're going to be looking at um, the different things inside of the water that causes things to grow or not be very healthy. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.